Welcome to Beer Stars from Beer Star Brewhouse. This video is about how to prepare your barrels and how to fill them with beer. Rule number one here is use your barrels fresh. Never let them dry out. This one hasn't been used for quite a while and you can see it's not waterproof or anything and it may never become waterproof again. Um, these are hybrid barrels from Bad Motivated Legacy Barrels and uh, when he ships these, these are wet, the, uh, the, these are fresh and ready to use. And also if you get barrels from a whiskey distiller or something like that, they know that it has to be fresh. So you get them often the same day uh, as they empty them and, and use them right away. If the barrels are totally new like these were, um, I think it's a good idea to put a little vodka in them and just let it in there for a week or two weeks because it's the, the, the first kind of barrel aging is pretty aggressive. Use uh, saved vodka. This is for about a week. You can see it's pretty dark actually. This tastes great. It tastes like a three-year-old rum or something like that. So, so yeah, save it. <laughs> um, yeah, so if it's totally new, put in some vodka just let it, to let it mature a bit. And then before actually putting beer in them, I'm, I rinse mine with uh, star sand. Um, yeah, just to kill anything in there and then rinse with water afterwards. And just before filling them, I use steam. It kills anything inside. And then basically I'm ready to fill the beer. And what I do just before filling the beer is that I uh, fill it up with the CO2, perch it with the CO2, and then with just a sanitized hose down in the bottom so it will fill up from the bottom and fill it over the top. Um, wiggle it around to get all the air out and uh, put in the bung here in the bung hole. Just give it a good smack with a hammer um, and just let the beer spill out of everywhere because uh, we don't want any air inside. There will be air inside afterwards because of the angel share and the slow oxidation but uh, to start with we need all air to get out um, yeah and then store it these are hybrid barrels these are it's kind of this surface area is the same as a as a big bell like the brewery use so I have to store them for about a year a small bell like this one a month a, a bit bigger barrel maybe three months but uh, but these are yeah these are way better I think because you 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 can store them longer you can get more of that uh, the vanillin the coconut flavor out of the wood because uh, that takes longer time for this one it will be way too aggressive you all I will get is tannins and oak after a year and these ones is going to be perfect store them store them cold if you can just not uh, in direct sunlight, not uh, hot, um, storm in a dark, cold place if you can. I guess that was it. It's pretty easy. Uh, I really recommend these barrels. You can find a link down in the description. Um, hybrid barrels are way better than small barrels like that for home brewers because the surface area uh, compared to the volume is way better than these compared to the small aggressive ones also compared to oak chips yeah guess that was it if you have any questions write to me other than that just have a happy brewing out there